JB Moro, go and get your bag. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today y'all, we're going to be making shepherd's pie. Now, I'm going to be using uh, some taco meat that I made yesterday. I don't want it to go to waste. So I don't have to um, cook my ground beef. So we're going to put some butter into the skillet. And then we're going to put some onion. Comment below how you cook your shepherd's pie. Well, what all you put in it. Now, okay, so I'm going to be honest with y'all. I never in my life made shepherd's pie before. Now, I saw where someone added um, corn. So I was like, you know what, since I have a bag of vegetable greens, I'm going to add it in there. Y'all know I love my veggies. Now, I will say, I don't like sweet peas, but I can't taste it when it's in the um, chicken pot pie, pie, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I just can't eat them by itself, so we're going to add some veggie blend to this. I'm going to tell y'all right now, my kids, they're going to say no to this. I'm not going to make a lot. Hopefully they try it, if not. Oh well, so we're going to let these cook for about five minutes. Okay, so now I'm going to add my taco meat, y'all. Real ground beef with um, taco seasoning. I don't like um, throwing away food, so I had to figure out something to do with this, and shepherd's pie came to my mind. We're gonna mix this together. I feel like I'm making too much. So pretty. Actually, smells pretty good, to be honest. So, I don't have any beef broth, so I'm going to add chicken broth. Now, I saw someone make this. Oh, my God. It looks so disgusting. She didn't put any broth on it. She didn't put no water. She didn't put no no seasoning. She didn't put no no nothing. Like, I, I don't see how you thought that was going to be good, but I don't know. Hopefully, mine's turned out good. First time ever making this. And these are carrots, sweet peas, green beans, and corn. So I'm going to season this with a little seasoned salt because I already have taco seasoning on there. But I want to kind of like take away some of it. So I'm going to put a little seasoned salt. I'm going to add some garlic powder. I probably should move the spoon. That's why I'm looking the way it's looking now. But... Oh well, I'm going to add some complete seasoning. This is how I cook at home, so this is what it is. I'm not trying to be perfect, this is the real me. I'm adding some onion powder, and I'm going to add a little black pepper. I'm going to do this complete mix. This smells really good, y'all, and it's pretty. I love all the colors. Like, I saw... A lot of people just use carrots and um, peas. I want it to be a little different. So now, y'all, I'm going to add some tomato paste. So this has nothing to do with the video, but... One of my subscribers sent me, uh, cashed out me 10 bucks to get this set. I really, really appreciate it. Let me let me tell you why. Just hold on. Yeah, I don't want to show my face. I look a hot mess. Amaya is in the process of doing my hair. But I can use one of these, y'all, out of my box. 38-piece 38, 38 set. Um, I can just do this and save my stuff. Instead of putting the can in the refrigerator. So that's what I usually would do. And you're not supposed to do that. But I'm just being honest y'all. But thank you Annabelle for this um, 
set. I really, really appreciate it. Much needed. The perfect container. Yep. And I can just, I made a mess, but I can just put my lid on there and put it in the refrigerator. Okay, y'all, don't y'all curse me out for this. Now, for my mashed potatoes, I'm going to use instant mashed potatoes. Um, the Great Value brand. Now, when I get done with the mashed potatoes, they're going to taste like homemade mashed potatoes. I'm just kidding. There's no way you can make instant mashed potatoes taste like homemade. But we're going to make it do what it do. We're going to make this work. I promise you the mashed potatoes are going to be good. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't have time to be adding water to my mashed potatoes if I have milk. I need for my mashed potatoes to be nice and creamy. So, we're going to use milk. And guess what, y'all? We're going to use butter. Half a stick of butter. Yes, that much butter. So I'm going to go ahead and add some flavor to my milk so I don't have to worry about doing it once the mashed potatoes get in there. So we're going to add some garlic powder, lots and lots of garlic powder. I'm going to use some complete seasoning. I'm actually out of it. That's the last of it, y'all. We're going to add some black pepper. I love pepper in my mashed potatoes. I'm going to add some onion powder. I need for my mashed potatoes to have lots and lots of flour. I mean, not flour. Flavor. And I'm going to add some salt. Not too much. And then we're going to give this a quick stir. And once it comes to a boil, we'll add our instant mashed potatoes. So now I'm going to add my mashed potatoes. Now I don't want my mashed potatoes to be like super thick. I do not like thick mashed potatoes. Comment below how you like your mashed potatoes to be. I don't like them super watery either. Okay, y'all, so I'm done with my mashed potatoes. They smell so good. Smell like garlic. So, y'all, I actually decided to take out my rolls this morning. They're all rise, except for this one. I accidentally poked a hole in it, so it is what it is. Okay, y'all, so I really want to put it in here because... This one is pretty versus this one. I saw Kimma Creation use something to get this stuff off of her pants. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to have to order it online. So I'm going to use this one, y'all. What time is what? So we're going to put the meat and veggies down first. I thought I made too much, but... Just enough little mashed potatoes right there. I'm using the exact same spoon. Okay, so now I'm going to add my mashed potatoes. They actually look like homemade mashed potatoes with the lumps in it. So I just asked Rihanna what she's going to taste some. She told me she was allergic. Now, how in the world are you allergic to mashed potatoes and ground beef? Huh? Huh? How you allergic? I've well, not ate mashed potatoes. Really? Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Y'all hear her? Yeah, I could eat it. So now I'm going to add some cheese on top. I 
Like I said, I never made this before, so I can't wait to see what it tastes like. I just took my rolls out the oven, y'all. Oh, y'all, this looks so good. I can't believe I made this. It's real simple, though. So, what I'm going to do. Okay, y'all, so I have to give y'all my honest review since this is my first time making it. It better be good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Oh. This is good. Mm-hmm. This is good. So I'm gonna get to light. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on my next video. I'm about to tear this food up. Bye, y'all.